Oh, you got a fish, grab it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fish, baby. Let's go. We are heading out for my first ice of 2021-2022 uh, and it's March it's March 6th today the 6th of March and I'm getting out ice fishing for the very first time yeah it's been pretty rough winter this year um, feels like all we've been doing here is shoveling snow like we've got the third worst winter for the past like 200 years or something like that here in Manitoba in terms of snowfall and it's just been cold like the days of like minus 20 and colder has been the third most as well out of like 200 years or something like that it's just been a crazy winter so access to a lot of places for ice fishing has been fairly limited that was a main factor um, and it's not just me a lot of people haven't been going out either but uh, yeah anyways we are headed out to Sandy Bar today out by Riverton here off of Highway 8 and uh, this is one of my favorite favorite spots to ice fish in the winter shout out to the folks up here at Riverton they do a really great job um, maintaining the ice roads out here onto the lake and everything I know they've had a huge challenge uh, plowing the ice roads up here uh, this winter just the amount of snow that's been dumped on us and the wind factor as well like it's been like crazy just blizzards 50 kilometer an hour winds you plow the snow and then all of a sudden it all gets blown back over by the winds it's just been insane right but uh, anyways I'm meeting up with my buddy Danny here and then we're gonna head out onto the lake get set up and hopefully get into some fish we've got our catch and cook gear today so hopefully when we get into fish if we get into fish we can do up a nice catch and cook for you guys so stay tuned about to pull up onto the parking area here you can see oh wow it's nice and loud right now you can see the ice road out there looks like it's fairly decent they haven't been able to get out too far this year due to the challenges I mentioned but uh, look at this they've done a great job man shout out to the folks out here in Riverton man I'm actually gonna link their Facebook page for uh, Sandy Bar Ice Fishing Facebook page in the description below as well make sure you guys check them out we don't stop to keep driving just keep going yeah let's go I'll follow you man apparently it's been pretty bad if you get off of the ice road uh, even like snowmobiles and stuff I've been getting stuck when they go off the trail but uh, we're gonna follow the ice road here as far as we can as far as they've got it anyways it's like a little city out here right now so we've got four holes here man there's so much slush there's like there was like what four four and a half feet of ice maybe yeah this is the first like 30, year i've ever used an extension man six inches yeah thick. all right well i think i got my fish finder working and there is the jig and live minnow on the jaw jacker There we go. Whew. So on my fish finder there, I usually have that metal rod that keeps the uh, transducer pointed a certain direction and keeps it straight. But number one, uh, the ice is too deep. So that rod that I have isn't long enough, so I, I'm not using it. And number two, I forgot that rod at home. <laughs> so. I've got the transducer just sort of dangling right there inside the hole right now. I have no idea which way it's pointing. It seems like it's pointing in the right direction. I think it kind of picked up my lure when I dropped it in there just now. I think that's my lure right there. So 
we're in about eight feet of water here um pretty shallow we kind of want it to be in about 14 ish feet of water today but uh we couldn't get any further than this eh no there's uh the iso just ended and um we're stuck here in the tent city everybody's here this is the farthest people can go right now unless you're on tracks pretty much so started feeling lazy live mino on the jaw jacker live mino on this rod here as well and just let it sit there dead stick my wrist is tired of going like this, so I'm just letting that sit dead stick there with the live minnow. Not the uh, crazy first ice, <laughs> first ice video that I wanted to debut with this winter, but uh, it is what it is, and that's fishing. Um, we've still got, I don't know, it's, it's only 10:40, so we still got a lot of time. Still got uh, the rest of the morning and the afternoon to go. So hopefully. We at least catch, you know, one or two that we can at least cook up here and do a catch and cook. Many unbearable hours later. Well, we didn't catch nothing today. <laughs> it was, I, I don't, I think it's just a bad day all around. Uh, we talked to a bunch of people around us over here. I think maybe like two groups caught one fish. Right. Everybody else hasn't caught nothing. Everybody's walking around talking to each other asking if each other caught fish and Everyone's just been like nope haven't caught nothing haven't caught nothing <laughs> Not marking anything down here. So just not a good day. Um We're gonna call it a day. That's just the way it is. That's the reality of fishing You don't always catch every time you go out. So you know what? It's a beautiful day outside. We still had a lot of fun got to test out the new heater setup it's great. I love it. It's going to be awesome when we do our overnight next weekend and I will see you guys then. Well guys, it is the next week here and we're going to be headed out again to Riverton and uh, this time we're going to go with uh, Patrick and I think his wife and his uh, sister-in-law is coming as well with him. But yesterday and the day before have been like crazy blowing winds again and people on the Facebook group for this place have uh, been saying that, that the ice roads have been drifted in again and our chances of being able to drive out further are probably worse <laughs> compared to last time so we might just end up walking out onto the ice and uh, probably just fishing the shallows a bit and see if we can get to anything in the shallows but I mean I can only get out once a week, so <laughs> to not go again just because uh, I just, the ice roads have been drifted in. I just gotta go. We just gotta go and check it out and just and see how it is and at least just get out. Even if we can't get out to the place where there's bound to be fish, we might as well just try. But first, before all that, we'll do a quick Donald stop. Today, day two, or should I say week two, um, second time out ice fishing this winter. Um, the idea is I'm gonna use a rattler on my jigging rod and have a live minnow on the jaw jacker over there for the dead stick. And um, like this area is all like 
flat. It's all just like, uh, it's like a sandbar. It's all just like flat bottom. So it's all about the same depth. There's not really any structure or anything like that out here. So basically you just either got to get lucky and have some fish swimming through where you're fishing, or you can try to attract them towards your spot with different things like rattler or live bait or whatever else. So we're basically gonna throw whatever we can at them today and see if we can get on some fish. Finally, hopefully uh, we can at least get onto one. And I brought my stove and catch and cook stuff today. Hopefully get a catch and cook going here. But it is a jinx every time we bring this stove. <laughs> so we'll have to see, maybe we can get lucky. Look at Patty here with his electric auger. Oh, look at that 24 inch extension, baby. <laughs> Yeah, some advice was given. <laughs> yeah, you're getting through anything with this, eh? <laughs> it's just hard to use. <laughs> oh, that is... Damn, that is huge. This is kind of funny because we're about two feet deeper from where me and Danny was at last week. Yeah. And we were further out, a little further out that way. Oh, shit. Like, a little bit past that orange. Uh, shack out there. Looks like the girls got a bite over there. Oh, you on? Oh, damn. Oh, Oh, good job, it green bite! Nice! Hey, that's a good eater size right there. <laughs> good job! Good job! <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, I'm real, keep that! Oh, that's a, that's a good keeper. <laughs> that is a good keeper. Measure him up. Oh yeah, it's like 17 and a half. Yeah, good job! Very good. The balls haven't dropped. <laughs> she was full of crap when she said uh, that they had a bite. We're so jealous right now. That's a nice one. Damn. Look at that. That's a good nice. one too. Oh, it's that's a, like a that's a perfect like, eater. 17 and like a half, man. You could go home right now and you'd be happy. Like, I'd be fucking happy. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Getting outfished by the girls. <laughs> that's the way she goes. <laughs> jaw jacker just bought. Patty's out. Oh, there is something on there. Nice. <laughs> well, I guess this counts as my fish. Oh, shit. Yeah. On, on Patty's jaw jacker. Oh, it's a permit too. Woo. Yeah. Oh, man, he left at the wrong time. Oh, on Pat, Pat, Patrick's jaw jacker oh. right there. It popped out, I was like, oh shit! Oh, and he just took off. No way! He just took off. That yes! That's so cool! <sighs> hey babe, look what Nico caught on your, uh, on your rod. Barely. He caught a bird, but... Hey! Is he on FaceTime? Yeah, he is. Hey, look at this, Patty. Hey, so this is this counts as mine. This counts as mine, right? You're gone. <laughs> it was on your jaw jacker. <laughs> Look at it. Can you see it? Nice. Look, man. Patrick. <laughs> as soon as he left, too. How funny is that? All right, guys. Check that out. First fish of the day first fish of the year late season march it's like march what march 12 2022 right now this is the second time ice fishing out this year this season this is the first fish for this year and it's a beautiful burbot let's see 
see how long this guy is. He's almost 20, almost 20 inches. It's like 19 and three quarters, almost 20 inches. Perfect little eater size burbot right there. Yes, finally caught my first fish of the year, man. And it's a burbot too, how awesome is that? So now, girl's tent, one, one walleye, and then boy's tent, one burbot. Yeah, it wasn't on my uh, it wasn't on my jaw jacker. It was on Patty's jaw jacker, but he took off to go use the washroom down by the beach over there, and literally as soon as as soon as his car hit the ice road, his jaw jacker goes pop. Anyways, I'm the one that reeled it up, so that counts as my fish. Let's go. We're gonna cook this burbot up in a little bit here too, guys. So stay tuned. <laughs> So well, welcome murdered. back. I'm so <laughs> mad right now. As soon as your as soon as your car hit the ice road, your jaw jacker went pop. And, and I was and I was, was over there. It, it wasn't bouncing, so I was like, I was like, did something just swim by and hit the line or something? And I'm checking my jaw jacker for my bait. So I took my time with checking my jaw jacker, and then I was like, yeah, you know what? I might as well just check it, see if it, you know, I'll, at least I'll reset your jaw jacker, right? And I started reeling it up, and it was heavy. And I'm like, oh shit, it's a fucking fish! It's a fish! Yeah. And I realized why it wasn't. Whoa. I realized why it wasn't uh, bending. You have your spool off. It wasn't locked, so it was whole holding line. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, the spool wasn't closed. No, it was. Uh, he swallowed it pretty good. Oh. So I had to uh, surgically remove the uh, the lure in there. Hook's a little bent, but I saved the lure. Okay. Just gotta rebend the hook, but it did come off of your uh, your line there. And you want to cook them up or what? You want to cook them now? We can cook them up in a little bit. Yeah, we can cook them. Definitely cook them up and, and eat them before we leave here. That's for sure. Butter, That's all right. Oh, I got okay. oil. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, we'll cook them. All right, let's go. We're about to catch and cook, baby. Ah, uh, but two minutes to use the bathroom. <laughs> And you lose out on a good fish, man. Oh, dear me. Hey, the good news is they're here. And they're biting. Yeah, it's gonna be good. We're gonna cook up this burbot later on. Uh, not right now. We'll do a little bit more fish and then we'll uh, fire up the stove and then cook up this burbot and get to eat it, man. I'm hungry. Let's go. Yo, my jaw jacket just popped here too. Oh, you got a fish, grab it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a fish, baby. Let's go. Oh, another bird! Oh, bad news, guys. Number one, that video cut out, but what happened was I lost the fish at the hole. It fell off of the hook right there at the hole. I tried to grab it. My whole left arm is wet. I went up elbow deep, but it's slimy. It was a burbot, and it swam right through and back down the hole. Ah, would have been too. Two burbots would have been nice for a catch and cook, but I lost that one. And uh, SD card error on the GoPro here too, and it cut out the rest of the footage for some reason, except for that beginning part. Anyways, all right guys, time to prep up this burbot now. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is remove his skin. So that's what these pliers are for. They're super slimy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make an incision Sort of on the back here. Cut all the way around like this. And we just gotta grab that skin. And then you're supposed to be able to just peel it. Peel it back. It's not easy. <laughs> it's supposed to be easy. I've only prepped burbot a couple times last year, so. There you go. There we go. Yeah. 
Yep. Grab them there. Hold tight. Let's see if we can just peel them like a sock here. There we go. Teamwork, guys. Look at that. <laughs> For the meat, it's basically just like taking back straps off of like a game animal like a deer or a rabbit or something then you just get the back straps out that way out to the tail and that's it so let's grab this back straps So there's one strap. Fuck with me, you pure rotten beans, man. You got way more off the tail on that one, eh? Yeah. She ain't got a gap without from the propane and the spice and the hallelujah. There. There we go. There we go. There's our couple of uh, burbot straps there. I'm going to chop them up and then cook them on the stove. Yeah. All right. Gonna cook this guy up. There's our meat right there. We just chopped it up into like little chunks. We're gonna have some minnows as a side. Yeah, a little bit of minnows on the side. Got this nice little portable stove for Chinese hot pot, but it works well for catching cooks as well. So for seasoning, I just brought this, just uh, lemon and herb salt. So it's got lemon, see what kind of herbs it's got in there. It's got onion, garlic, red bell pepper, carrot, tomato, herbs and spices including sage, citric acid, sesame seeds, sugar, dried lemon peel. It should do the trick and some salt as well. And then we've got garlic powder here on the side also. We'll season her up right here on the snow. A little bit of garlic powder. And when I say a little bit, I mean pour her on. Get that pan going. Sticks together like it doesn't uh, fall apart, and that's why people say that burbot is kind of like lobster because the texture of the meat is kind of like lobsterish to a certain degree. That's actually probably pretty cooked right there already. I'm pretty sure it is. We can probably turn off the stove right there. Yeah. 
and she get to go. Look at that. Oh yeah, I am so ready to eat some burbot right now, man. I think it's the girl's first time trying burbot here, so let's see how they like it. Why is it so dark in here? You guys don't have any windows open or what? No, we're gonna have to open some. <laughs> okay. okay, well, it's pretty. Any windows? <laughs> first time eating burbot. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Oh, it's actually not bad. It's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Do you get that kind of lobstery? I haven't had all lobster, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. very like it's, it's very moist. I really like it. It's good, eh? Yeah, the texture is nice. It's moist. Yeah, <laughs> it's very soft. I like the texture. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's not fishy, which Can I like. It's a little yeah. bit more salt, but it's good. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's very mm -hmm. soft. Not eat at all. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the texture of the meat is nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't yeah. have like that flakiness like usually fish no. has. It's yeah. just like, very like mm -hmm. buttery. That's why people say it's like lobster because of the texture. It's kind of like got that kind of yeah. shellfishy it's type very... of texture where it kind of holds together. It's nice to cook because it all holds together. I thought it would be more fishy, but it actually no. doesn't taste more like fishy fishy. Yeah, yeah, it's very soft taste. No, I actually really like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Okay, let's go finish her up. Our turn. We're going to finish her up. Good job. You guys, do you guys want some more? <laughs> We're good, thanks. Yeah? We're good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we loved it. You want more? No, I'm good. <laughs> no, no, like it was good, but she thought I just had a sandwich. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised it's not like this. <laughs> well, it looks like they like the burbot there. So that's good. Now it's our turn to finish her up. Good. You're very good. Let's get this nice go, big chunk right there. You got very cold quick though. I got cold quick, it's sitting on the ice. Maybe I'll take the pan off the ice. Mm. Mm. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Freshwater lobster. You're very good. Kind of over -wall. I, I am not gonna lie, ma'am. I like that burbot better than walleye. Yeah. I love how there's like no bones. Like you don't have to worry about bones getting stuck in your throat. <laughs> not like the chicken bone. <laughs> no, I remember that time you got a chicken bone stuck in your throat. Dude. Yep. That was, that was bad. Well, we finally got out. I was able to do a successful catch and cook. Although it's only like my second time out ice fishing this season because I just haven't plane just been going out. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that uh, we managed to catch this burbot. Could have had two. Could have had two, but I lost one at the hole. That's okay. Um, we'll be back here again next weekend. But next weekend, we're gonna do overnight ice camping here in this spot well maybe not this exact spot but around this general area hopefully we can get out to a little bit deeper next week but we'll have to see but uh, if not this spot's also okay saturday and sunday we'll be fishing all day saturday stay saturday overnight fish all day sunday come back home sunday night to the city so that should be pretty fun there as well um probably bring some steaks some venison steaks or something like that out for the trip also just in case we don't catch anything then at least we got some venison steaks it's my buck that i shot back in november there as well if you guys haven't seen that video i'll put a link up here also a link in the description below so you guys can check that video it was a running shot which was crazy but also very lucky that i managed to hit that shot on that buck anyways we're gonna finish up the rest of this burbot that's gonna do it for today Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.